Mm-hmm. I like it. Okay, so I'm fine with Jura doing nothing. Here's where I do have a complaint. Why doesn't Code do anything? Bro also <laughs> just let Hidari die for no reason. Offer to lend him a hand? At least when he goes to heal, if you don't want to confront Boruto yet. It's not like Hidari couldn't get to you literally anytime anyways, so it's no less risky than just existing. I would be inclined to agree, but like at the end of the day, we don't know what Code is doing. We don't, but anyways. we know what he was wanting when he left. <clears throat> he wants <clears throat> the Shinju to defeat Boruto. So if Boruto's defeating the Shinju in a very even and close battle, why not turn the tides of that battle? Well, he wasn't I mean, looking at the time. How would he even know? There's that for one thing. But the other thing is, so this is the problem. Coates says, they'll devour you without me doing anything. This is perfect. Ha ha ha. Blah, blah, blah. So he is expecting he doesn't need to do anything. That's fine. But then the question is, but then what is code? His whole thing was t killing Boruto and taking everything away from him. So if he's not going to kill Boruto, he's got like the Shinji do it, then code should be wrecking havoc in the village, taking away things Boruto cares about, so Sarada and Tsurai and so on. He's yeah. not doing that either. So that means code is just so straight low. up not doing the things he wants to do. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Why Wait. would code be okay with other people killing Boruto? I think that's weird anyway. He should be like, <laughs> like when Naruto with Ada was Wait, like, was Code, will you spare Naruto? Like, yeah, He's like, skip. no, Naruto's my number one target. I will be killing him with my own hands. And then Mabushiki shows up. He's like, yeah, you want to just kill him for me? That It's fine. You got it. I want you to kill him with your own hands. Code really wanted to kill. He wanted revenge on Kawaki. Like, he really did. Yeah. But then he's like, other people can kill you, though. That's just fine by me. When he, you'd feel like he'd care a lot more. Like he'd want to do it personally. Like Code should think he's stronger than Kawaki, and Code should be stronger than Kawaki. There's no reason for him to not invade the village at any point over the three years. Bro, after what Code survived with Uzihiko, bro, he's stronger than Kawaki, bro. <laughs> I think he won. Code, Code should have invaded in part one. We've already talked about this. He should have just gone straight to the village. Yeah. Clearly, he doesn't care about Aiden David that much, considering he did it while Aiden David were there. So, and also, he told Bug, don't worry, it's fine about Damon, in reference to the fact that he's going to make Claw Grime. So, clearly, the Claw Grime was supposed to be, like... The end all be all, the reason why it doesn't matter if Damon's stronger. It took Code a long time to come up with the idea. Let me just go to the village. What a see this what a moron, bro. I can't take the character seriously. Um Wait, Code's but goal. But it doesn't even make sense that it took so long. Because his point was he was gonna take everything from Kawaki. Meaning when he wanna start by taking things from Kawaki before killing Kawaki, instead of killing Kawaki and then taking things from Kawaki, Kawaki doesn't care after he's already dead. You would start with Sarada, then kill Kawaki, not the other way around. Wait, why does he even think that Kawaki cares about... I don't Sorry. know! Bro clearly would... didn't read chapter 78, Wait. that's for sure. Why would he think that he even cares about Sarada anyways? He probably how, just how... assumed because it's a villager and Kawaki cares about the villagers now. He probably just made it an assumption. Okay. I don't think Sarda was necessarily anything different than, like, Enojin or Shikadai, really. It's just, like, teammate slash ninja in the village probably cares. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Code's goal Anyways, like, isn't code to is do not nothing big... because it's easy. Rather, it's that it's so easy that he thinks he doesn't even have to do anything. That doesn't mean that he wouldn't or that he wouldn't want to. It's that he's basically guaranteed he victory. Like, if his goal is to steal candy from a baby, that's so easy that he should think he can just do it. Well, I think that, like... Do you, so do you think that, like, Code should be helping Hidari try and kill Borto? Why not? What else is he doing? It is we need that answer. At the it's... very least, assist okay. Hidari. Hmm. I'm assuming that he was like, okay, Hadari. I don't know. Because I mean, to be act, honest, have the same he'd have, Code could have. 
you would have to think that he's like actively looking through like his claw marks and whatnot to know what's happening. Uh, but like, what? Why is he doing that. any? Like, what is he doing right now, anyways? That's keeping him occupied. He's got nothing else to do. Car is not in existence. He's not invading he, the um, leaf, Philip. So. I guess he just doesn't want to fight Boruto again. <laughs> He doesn't even have to fight Boruto, just, Orto, just he assist Hidari. And the other villagers, then. Yeah, the coach stronger than Hidari. Yeah, like, freaking Hidari's Maybe. literally right next to Boruto. When Boruto Rasengan's Hidari in the back, why isn't Code sticking his claw hand through it to stab Boruto? He doesn't have to actually go there. Basically, treat Hidari like a claw grime and fight in the same way that Hidari was fighting this chapter. Well, the problem is now we gotta go. We gotta just gotta backtrack and make Code fight like Hidari the whole time, like he should have anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't see why he's not assisting Hidari. Again, he'd have to actively know at the time. He maybe he's doing something. He should be. The question is what? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, what are you? Like, why are you occupied right now? There shouldn't be anything. But, like, if it's revealed that, oh, he's, like, somewhere reading books or something, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the problem he has to be is doing something, bro. Code's only goals are kill Borto, take away things Borto cares about, if he even cares about that one anymore, and eat chakra fruit to evolve into an Asuski and eventually a god. To do the last one, you need to sacrifice Boruto to a Tentils, which he's like, oh, they'll do it for me. There's nothing else for Code to do with that. Like, if he's not attacking Boruto or the village, nothing Code is doing is related to the only two things he wants to do. <laughs> like, hypothetically, Sauron, hypothetically, he's doing something brand new. It's a completely new goal. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so that's why he's not, because he's pursuing this goal. There's no chance. Whatever new goal he could possibly have is more important to him than his other goals. These other goals that he has of Borto, the Otsutsuki, whatever, that is his primary motive in life. I refuse to believe he's prioritizing anything yeah. over these things that he's wanted to do for five years now. Maybe he's, maybe, maybe, maybe he's trying AI to come either. up with a What if he's trying to come up with a contingency plan? Like, in just in case, Borto lives. But if he know. was, he would have just teamed up with the Shinju the first time instead of leaving. He should have made a contingency have plan if he to doesn't make a to plan to be a contingency in the first place. If he's here, Borto loses. Then there doesn't need to be a contingency yeah, we just, plan. It's odd, but I don't have enough. I don't have, we don't know what he's doing. But like, we need to see the end of the arc yeah. to fully yeah. judge yeah. it. Alright, next one.